Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Streptococcus bovis or Streptogalolyticus, and we talked about the enterococci. Today, we shall compare between the two of them. But here are the similarities. Both of them are gram-positive. Both of them are catalase negative. Both of them can lead to bacteremia and endocarditis. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Gram positive cocci, catalase negative, gamma hemolytic, i.e. no hemolysis. Here are both of them. Both of them are gamma hemolytic. Both of them can grow in bile. But only the enterococcus can grow in 6.5% salt solution. However, salt solution will kill and destroy the streptococcus bovis. I like some bovis bovis, but I hate the salt. Let's start by talking about enterococci. They are soluble in bile. They can grow in many circumstances. Here's some bile. No problem. Here's some salt. Bring it on. I don't care. Said the enterococcus. However, the streptococcus bovis has left the chat. Enterococci, group D, just like Streptococcus bovis, gram-positive, catalase negative, causes adherent biofilms. Some antibiotics will never work against it. Enterococci colonize your colon and your urinary tract. Examples are Enterococcus faecalis, which is more abundant than Enterococcus facium. Diseases caused by Enterococci include UTIs, peritonitis, endocarditis, and bacteremia. Under the microscope, using gram stain, enterococcus looks very similar to streptococcus pneumonia. Both of them were streptococci in the past. But now, enterococcus has its own genus. Enterococcus can grow on blood or chocolate agar. Enterococcus is resistant to bile, resistant to uptoken, i.e. bile will not kill it, uptoken will not kill it. Enterococcus is PYR positive. How do you manage enterococci? Remember how we manage endocarditis. You give me a cell wall synthesis inhibitor plus an aminoglycoside. Example, ampicillin plus gentamicin or vancomycin plus gentamicin. Some enterococci are resistant to one or both of them. What should we do? Use newer options. We are done with the enterococcus. Let's talk about streptococcus bovis. Streptococcus bovis or streptococcus galoliticus, group D, gram-positive cocci in chains. They can lead to diseases in cows. They also lead to diseases in humans, especially culture-positive endocarditis, bacteremia associated with liver disease, colon disease, colon cancer, inflammatory bowel disease. Moreover, streptococcus bovis can lead to urinary tract infections and biliary tract disease. Gram-positive catalase negative, coagulase negative, gamma hemolytic. How do you diagnose it? Gram stain, morphology, and culture. Gamma hemolysis, which means no hemolysis, coagulase negative, catalase negative, identification using biochemical test to detect group D, and you treat with penicillin G plus gentamicin, or ciftriaxone plus gentamicin. Again, a cell wall synthesis inhibitor plus gentamicin. Ciftriaxone can kill Streptococcus bovis, but ciftriaxone or any cephalosporin will not kill enterococci. Let's review enterococci from Picmonic. They are gram-positive. Here's the angel. Catalase negative, negative cat. They grow in salt. They grow in bile. They can lead to urinary tract infections. They can lead to endocarditis. Many of them are resistant to penicillin and vancomycin. Next, Streptococcus bovis, group D strep, catalase negative, here's the negative cat. They are gram positive, here's the angel. Do they grow in bile? Yes, they do. Do they grow in salt? No, they do not. They die. Streptococcus galoliticus will lead to bacteremia associated with colon cancer. And now to the comparison table. Let's go. Both of them are gram positive, both of them are cocci, both of them are catalase negative, both of them are group D. Both of them grow in bile, but only enterococcus can survive salt solutions. Streptococcus bovis cannot. I.e., if you add salt to the culture medium, you will kill Streptococcus bovis, but you will never kill enterococcus by salt, at least the 6.5% solution. Can we treat it by cephalosporins like ciftriaxone? Yes, you can treat the Streptococcus bovis with it, but you cannot kill the enterococcus with any cephalosporin. 
important. If you like this video, you will love my antibiotics course, which will teach you about antibacterials like ceftriaxone, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications. I also have a surgery high yields course and an emergency medicine high yields course. All of them are available at medicosisperfectionetics.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.